curtains. Kaichu, Wu. Hello, hello. Yeah, hey, sit next to me. Okay. Awesome. Hello, how you doing? Well, this is this is for the cameras, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Hey, that's that's what the stream sees. Ah, I see, I see. I, I'm good. I'm good. How about you? I'm doing great. It's 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 been a long time since you and I talked. Yes, it has, and it's funny you said uh, this is uh, your uh, two hundred twenty second interview, so it's like two to two, mm -hmm. and two is like kind of my lucky number. So I think I hope this. Gets oh, out. oh, it's oh, yeah, your lucky number, really? Okay. Yeah, kind of like I like it. I like the number two. I don't know. Maybe I just made it up as my lucky number. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, how would you uh, describe yourself in terms of like? Um, you know, to people who don't know who you are, obviously your name is Kaichu Uwu, but like, mm -hmm. what do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you like to stream? You know, what do you, what do you do with your hobbies and stuff? Um, so obviously, like, I like uh, streaming on Twitch um, as well. I uh, do full time as well, but I'm a pretty small streamer kind of on the ends. Um, I love video games, uh, like most of the people on Twitch. I love anime and uh from time to time i cosplay i think we're going to talk about that a little bit as well um and uh, i love art as well a lot so i'm like kind of a very creative person even though i, I kind of like uh, creativity sometimes <laughs> but yeah i think that's pretty i got gotcha. how did you come up with the name kaichu Uwu? like uh, is there a story behind it or oh yeah like um so I used to have the online name Kaito, okay. like um, Kaito from Kaito Kid from Detective Conan, because okay. I had a huge crush. Like I, I really loved Kaito Kids a lot. Um, that's why I named myself like him, kinda. And then um, it became like a thing in those forums that people would think uh, I'm actually a male, so it's kind of like a reverse trap kind of thing. Really. <laughs> Yeah, okay. it was kind of weird, but uh, it, it was what it was, and I, I wasn't like, I don't know, I, I, I just let it be, kind of. And then at some point, I was like, okay, I'm tired of people thinking I'm a guy, uh, so I'm like, I need something cuter again. So it's like, okay, what is close to Kaito? Mm -hmm. And uh, then I just came up with Kaichu, um, and the reason is Kaichu Ubu is just because Kaichi was taken, literally the only reason why. Um, and of course, I'm very uvu. No, no, I don't know um, about that. But <laughs> um, and uh, it, it has nothing to do with Pokemon, because because people like seem to assume um, that it's from Pikachu or something, or from sneezing. Okay. I don't know, but it, it's not. It's not. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's interesting. That like people thought you were a guy, and now here you are. You know. Clearly, you know, you, you, you cosplayed as me at one point, so, uh, you know, I don't think yeah. uh, people can mistake you for that. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. You never know, you know, like. I guess the, so. The it is almost 20. Is yeah, kinda. it's almost 2021, so you, you're all right. You, you truly never really know. Yes. So anyway, uh, so how did you get into um, streaming initially? Uh, I think, um, like, like it was kind of, um, I tried like back and forth. The thing was that I wanted to stream, um, for a long time already, like many, many years. Mm -hmm. Um, but I never had like the setup or like good internet or something like this. So I always had to stop streaming again. I would always attempt and then I had to stop again. So I probably tried like in the last, oh my God, some six seven years a couple of times mm -hmm. but i always had to give up um and there was this one person who like messaged me like one of my friends and he was like i really think you should try the streaming thing again i really think you would enjoy it and you would like it and that made me like try even harder um and then um this year um or actually last year we finally like got the good enough internet, I had a uh, good enough computer, so um, that I could uh, start to actually stream um, 
mm-hmm. full time um, this year. Yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> so it's a marker. Um, avatar. You're leaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my password to all yeah, my yeah. socials. Oh my god! Like, mm-hmm. I can't believe yeah. it. Would you that? Oh <laughs> my it away Jesus! For free today, just you know, as a gift. Oh just my! To, Thank to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. Everyone's gonna have access to it. Wow, incredible! <laughs> I hope it will go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. There's a way to do. It's, it's a. It's a gesture. You have to like. I don't know what gesture. I don't have that avatar. Oh, there you go. You figured okay, it out. Good. Okay, good. All right. Thank so, you. anyway, so uh, then you, uh, so how you and I met was uh, you. I saw that uh, you were cosplaying as Entrea on Twitter, mm-hmm. and then she liked that tweet because her and I follow each other. And then I, I saw that, and I was just like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" Because I never, as far as I'm concerned, I don't see too many people from like the VR chat community actually cosplaying or having someone cosplay as them. So when I saw that, I thought that was really cool. And then I was just like, yo, what's up? You want to cosplay as me? Yeah, that was crazy. Like, I, I also never had um, an experience like this before, you know, like where someone asked me that, like if I could cosplay the character. So it was definitely like, it was very um, new, but very insightful, like a very... Um, mm-hmm interesting first experience like with a lot of uh i don't know different emotions to it i don't even know how to explain like it was really great like i love your design right like this mm. great in the first place mm-hmm. i just love red and black and everything in the eyes and like i don't know i, I just love I uh yeah um so i was like oh my god that's so cool like i would love to try it out mm-hmm. um but i think i also like uh you know, because it was the first time and everything, um, I kind of underestimated how much um, pressure there is, you know, to make it, like, perfect and to make it, like... Um, Good, yeah. I don't know, to the liking, yeah, to yeah. your liking. Like, or in general, you know, like, anyone who would have asked, like, you, you really want to uh, give your best so the person likes it a lot, but you don't know if you can do it. It's, like, a lot of pressure. <laughs> Yeah, I get what you're saying. So, uh, the first cosplay she did was of my biker outfit, which is my original outfit, and it was a half body cosplay, so it was like the top uh, above. So, like from the what do you call it, like the waist up. It wasn't a full body cosplay because it was uh, an idea that her and I um, sort of bounced because we were gonna do this outfit only, and then we we're like, oh, it's gonna be a while before she got the the parts. Mm-hmm the uh the outfit and stuff so like oh what if we just did like a casual cosplay and she said okay and then she did the the biker outfit and uh so walk me through that process like uh, you had to like you had the wig the goggles the 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 contacts the jacket the glove makeup yeah um and uh i think um it was yeah exactly the the other outfit uh took so long to deliver because it was like uh international yes um shipping um so that was kind of a hassle and then i think um due to covid it took even longer because yes. yeah. it was like overseas um but yeah it's, it was like so i didn't uh, do these costumes on my own right i purchase them Mm -hmm. um but it's still um a lot of like work to um do the makeup right and and do the wig styling right and like make everything stick onto your body because like that's like i I think a lot of people who don't cosplay don't know how hard it is sometimes to um make the cosplay not fall um into pieces because that happens so often yeah yeah um so that was kind of complicated and then also like you know the, the whole push-up thing <laughs> um, yeah <no>. yeah <laughs> it was kinda, yeah, you, yeah yeah i do a lot of push-ups that's what you're implying yeah Strength, yeah exactly yeah, right abs- yeah. exactly yeah and, yeah. Uh, yeah 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 i'm like a couch potato so so that was kind of hard yeah um <laughs> But it was it was still a lot of fun. I love dressing up, and uh, I'm very grateful for that opportunity again. Mm-hmm. Like, um, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it, so it was great. Like uh, when it, when it, when you were uh, like, what do you call it? like messaging me and like uh, doing the shoot and stuff like that? I was really excited because I was just like, oh my mm-hmm. god! Like this is so good. Like 
I was impressed. I was just like, I was like pogging, you know, I was like, oh my God, like this is yeah. incredible. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you like. <laughs> and a lot of people have uh, come to my chat or, or uh, talk to me like in DMs or in game. They're like, oh my God, Rob, what the heck? Like this girl, like cosplayed as you, you're real. And I'm like, yeah, I'm real. What do you mean? That's, that's Kaichu. She did. I'm real. What do you yeah. mean? Yeah. And they're just like, what I'm the you. heck? Yeah. 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 You're me. Yeah. No, no it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, I think a lot of people don't realize like how just like these words, they, they mean a lot, right? Like, cause it mm -hmm. means I, I did a somewhat good job, I guess, like in some people's eyes. And it's just, it's just a, a very satisfying feeling. Yeah. When you put like so much effort into anything, I think. And you yeah. get some um good reviews it's yeah, it's yeah. something different because like how many like vtubers have someone that that can cost you know what i mean like a mm -hmm. vtuber is you know someone who's on twitch or on youtube they have like their 2d 3d model and then like that's it like th there's no like real life representation of them it's just they're online that's it so to have someone actually cosplay as like a vtuber or you know a, a persona like that it is like breaking like the fourth wall yeah it's it's crazy it's i, I don't know i feel like um i don't know i feel like uh nowadays like um recently more and more people became vtubers i think from what i've seen like yes. on twitter and everything so i think it definitely became more a tendency that like you are your vtuber character and then you also cosplay as your vtuber character so you're actually that character. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I've seen it a couple of times, yeah. But it was definitely not so common. Like, not a lot of people um, do so. That's from, from, yeah, from I, what I know. You, you're, you're right. Like, I would say, like, uh, in the last, like, year, maybe year and a half is when, like, the VTubing, mm -hmm. like, like, boom really started to happen. I've been playing VR chat for three years. So, like, I guess you could say I already kind of was, like, a VTuber-ish. But I only got yeah. this outfit uh, or, like, started with, like, re this like, character uh, July of uh, 2019. So, it was about a year and a half ago. So, I guess that's, the, that's around the time when VTubers started, take, like, taking off. And then, like, every now, nowadays it's, like, I feel like almost everybody's a VTuber. It's just, like, I go on Twitter and everyone's, like, www. <laughs> artists all True. like all these people that you don't even like know or like there's people that like i don't know like they they do face cam stuff like all the time and then out of nowhere it's like i'm a vtuber it's like what it's like what's happening <laughs> yeah i mean yeah I, I don't think she even uses that model anymore i think she used it for like a week and then like just ditched well. like i don't even know I'm not talking smack i'm just stating a fact like i don't know it's like a huge thing yeah that like big yeah. like it was a huge craze and then people are like oh my god i want to get a model and then they get one and then they don't use it so it's like okay <laughs> like you just spent that money and just kind of wasted it you know but whatever i guess it doesn't really matter now but point is that like it's, it just seems like everybody's uh, on the trend there's nothing wrong with that like i i get it that like it's something different like you know i was there you know at the start or or a while ago so i don't like to say i'm i'm the cool person because i did it before anybody else but like i don't know it just seems kind of weird how like some people who normally aren't have nothing to do with like being a vtuber or like using an avatar just like out of the blue just be like you know it just seems a bit off but you know i guess that's just how society is right it's trends right everyone's going to start playing among us everyone's going to start playing you know vr chat or whatever because it's popular it's just the way things are right yeah, it is. Like, I, I don't know. I, I think they just, like, like you said, it's trends and people just want to experience it and see if it's for them or not. Um, hop on the hype train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting thing. Anyway, back to uh, cosplaying. So uh, how long did it take you to get into like the first outfit, like the first biker? Was it a long process? Was it like hours and hours uh, of like makeup and like, uh, was it really hard? Um, or was it just like, holy crap? It was definitely at least two hours. I don't 
know exactly anymore but like definitely at least two hours probably like three or so um it's just because like i said there's like so much to it is um, i need to um i don't know like make everything not fall apart like i said and then um the makeup just you know, like, girls take so much time for makeup yes. in general already. I mean, it's, like, cosplay makeup. It's even more special, and it's, like, not what they do every day, for example, if they do everyday makeup. Um, so it's, like, really... Um, it, it's a lot more time, you know? Because sometimes you haven't tried out how it looks like before. I usually mm -hmm. try to do, like... Uh, a makeup test before right to see yeah. how i approximately uh, gonna do it when, when i have the whole outfit um and it never it never turns out exactly the same it never does um but um yeah that, that takes a lot of time and then of course the big styling in before if you really style it i think in this case it was like i, I would uh I did reuse the same wig again, right? So um, I couldn't really style it the first time as much because then I would have ruined it for the second time. So that was kind of another issue I ran into. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, it, it definitely it took a long time to get into everything. And then you have to take the pictures, right? Yeah. Which also takes a couple of hours. So in the end, you, you at least, I don't know, end up doing all these things like for six hours or so, at least, I would say. Yeah. Was yeah, it was it like crazy. was there like any like uh, problems doing the photo shoot where like all oh, the lighting doesn't look right or like oh it's too hot in here I'm like sweating like oh yes <laughs> oh yes and, and the sad thing is like it happens like with almost every like costume or cosplay it's just like I don't know human sweat I don't know about you people <laughs> or like I <laughs> I don't know um, so. I, I did have to like powder up a lot, you know, in between mm -hmm. and uh, try to still look okay. Um, mm -hmm. And, and then the, the, the light, yeah, it, it was really difficult. Um, also the space in the room, because like I don't have a photo sh uh, studio or something I did yeah. it as, uh, at my friend's place, right? So it was like um, a lot of uh, obstacles to cross to like make it as good as I mm -hmm. could. Say. Did you yeah. have to like, uh, like, keep adjusting yourself? You're like, oh my god, all my makeup smearing, all the outfits, uh, it's not working right. I have to put the jacket on, take it off, do this, look oh, in the mirror yeah, like 15 totally. times, be like, how do I pose? How do I move my or to put my hands? Oh, That's fine. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I totally had to, um, uh, like. I don't know, um, because uh, the, the, the thing I talked about before, you know, like the whole fitness thing, uh, sometimes I would have to look at the footage and be like, okay, can you like see something? Like, um, yeah, I hear you know, saying. It's like a big thing. Yeah, it's like a big thing. Like, oh, damn, like from this angle. Oh, God, maybe you can see like things you're not supposed to see from this angle so then i had to sometimes retake uh, things and sometimes i didn't even notice in the end so that's very frustrating at mm -hmm. times you know like when you um how do you say this when you uh when you collected a lot of footage to just see in the end that you review have it. missed like something yeah yeah, yeah. yeah review like, yeah i get what you're saying <laughs> what uh so uh and then uh when you're like when you put on everything and you looked yourself in the mirror, did you mm -hmm. did you feel like my character? Like I did like did you feel like oh I did this right or I hopefully it goes well? Mm -hmm. Um I think I know what you're trying to say. Uh, I feel like there are cosplayers, uh, so so I sometimes like try to get the vibe of the character as well so mm -hmm. i can imagine what what the character would do or how they would pose like right because that was also yeah. kind of um, a little bit difficult right to figure out okay the poses but uh, from how you described her like it was easier to okay maybe she does this maybe she does that and she's very mature and stuff like this so i try to like set my mindset to it but of course mm -hmm. it doesn't always work like i still have to improve uh in this um Mm -hmm. area um but i definitely did try like i was looking in the mirror I'm like oh my god you need to try to like 
set yourself, uh, like set your mind to be someone else and stuff like this, um, what would you do? You know, um, yeah. I think you did a great job, and I'm happy. So thank you. In fact, I, I might I might post with your permission. I'll have you review them, but I'll, I'm thinking of posting more because I only posted a couple photos like sure. a while ago. So I could I could post more and be like, hey, big shout out to her. So yeah, yeah. of course, if, if you feel like it, sure. Or I could uh, um, I can always make a GIF. Like I can show like uh, a three second where like you I don't know you're winking or something. I don't know, just to just to bring yeah. the character to a lot to be more alive. Um, so I thought about doing that too. Thanks, honey, for using your Twitch sub on me. Hey, thanks for the sub. Anyway, um, and then you did my second cosplay, which was this outfit. She drew up, she dressed exactly like this, or very close to, and you know, the best she did. So. Yeah. That, that, that was the full body cosplay. So she said it to uh, head to toe. So how did that one go? How did the interviewer outfit go for you? Um, so I had this, uh, for like, I actually had a photo shoot with this one, like a more kind of professional one, right? Like not with uh, a crazy photograph that I booked, but like with my friend who yeah. does pictures, right? With mm -hmm. a good camera. So, um, the, I think I took him longer to get ready for that one, but it was probably just because I was talking to her as well and like, you know, being excited for the photo shoot. <laughs> Um, but uh, I think it went fine. I, I felt like um, some things could have been like some things were better with the um, biker outfit, and some mm -hmm. things were better with this outfit. Um, so I was a little bit um, unsatisfied with some things, but um, I still like had a lot of fun. It was really exciting, and it was like. Um, we, I had some props as well, right? Like yeah, a yeah, couple the of them, like microphone yeah. and the ruler. So it was like uh, more exciting to do like different things with props. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, and yeah, I was really surprised like how very like close the outfit um, was. Like like everything really. Yeah. Um, fit together really well uh, i think in the end um from all the things um that uh, i got so uh that was very nice mm -hmm. yeah i like that um, absolutely uh, uh, what was something that you uh found challenging like compare you said like oh there's some things i didn't really like with the biker outfit but it may have worked with the interview outfit or vice versa like you, you said there's there's some things that didn't work as well yeah. Um, so uh, on the uh, in the um, in this outfit, I uh, the the wig the wig was difficult. I don't style wigs so often in a more um, like um, how do you say it? Like um, I usually just cut them and like put hairspray on them. Mm -hmm. um, but um, this one was a little bit more difficult. Like I had to use a styrofoam. Um, uh, a styrofoam ball that I like glued on top of the wig and then like glued hair pieces around it and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. It was a lot more um, experimental to what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. uh, that was pretty challenging um, in this one. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the bike outfit I think worked better with the, yeah, <laughs> with, that, with, the, with, this, with the fitness stuff, yeah. yeah. Oh, fitness, yeah. <laughs> I love fitness. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I worked out, yeah, yeah, for yeah. That, you worked yeah. Out, yeah. <laughs> I think, bro, I think, I think I know what you're talking about. Hopefully, other people do too. Yeah, yeah. Would you? Uh, you said that um, you you've done other cosplays before. Uh, what are some other? Co mm -hmm. You've done like Monica from um, Doki Doki Literature. Oh yeah. Uh and that's probably like one of my favorite cosplays i wore it, it was also bought but it was just because i had a great shot of it like it's mm -hmm. it's the picture i'm the proudest of because it turned out the best from like all of the cosplay pictures i have of me probably mm -hmm. um and then i don't know i've cosplayed ari from league of legends um like the classical mm -hmm. uh but not I don't have like professional pictures so much. I, I did like some makeup tests of league champions like Saya. Like I did like the makeup in the wig. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Violet Evergarden 
if you know that. Uh, and uh, what else? Like uh, Nidali, also from League, like the snow, the snow uh, skin. I, I don't know, mm. Christmas skin. And um, then also uh, Kitty Cat, Katarina, also League. So like a lot of League of Legends and then some anime in between. Um, yeah. <laughs> That sounds that sounds awesome. I mean, is there anything that you like would like to do one day, like in the future? It, is, it may not be something like you're working on like now, but in the, <laughs> in the far future, is there any like cosplays you really want to do or uh, thinking about? Mm -hmm. um, I think the thing with cosplays uh, is, um, like for me at least, when something new comes up. Either it's a series or a game or something, and there's something like someone that is really cool and really cute. I'm like, okay, just I add this person to my cosplay like uh, plan. Yeah. You know, and it just gets longer and longer and longer, but it just happens like when you when you see the series or when you like the series. So at the moment, like I have a couple of things on my list, but there's like not something i really really crave for to cosplay but i wish to get to a level maybe one day where i'm like really good with building props and things like this like i would like to do a more um uh, how do you say it? it's like some some people cosplay really like big big uh creatures Builds? or something oh, like this but okay they... like a big build like uh like uh you want yeah. so, so you want to do something that's like really advanced like uh <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. Like uh, you said, creatures. So you mean like you want to cosplay something that's not a humanoid, like uh, a, yeah. a monster or something? Yeah. Do you know Blue Buff from? <laughs> it's a buff in League of Legends <laughs> in the jungle. It's okay. a monster basically, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's a blue buff. I, I would like to cosplay a blue buff one day. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's just like a stone gob, a stone golem kind of thing i guess yeah i'd love that i really like don't get me wrong i really love um costing very very cute characters and like cute outfits and like nice dresses and stuff like this as well um but i would love to also do something like this one day it's very advanced mm -hmm. i'm down for that like it means you're you're uh, all over the spectrum you know you're not just you know doing one thing you want to do a lot of different things and then he did me, which yeah, I would I would say my it. character is very mature and very dominant looking, so <laughs> that's something different, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, have you? Is it okay that I ask questions back? Is it okay? Absolutely, to ask, absolutely. It ask some questions. Um, I think you said you have thought about it, right? Like I don't remember quite well, or or have you like ever thought about cosplaying someone specific besides your avatar, or have you? thought about that or like me cosplaying is what you're asking yeah if i was to cosplay something i would cosplay as myself probably but it would take me a lot of <laughs> uh a lot of work let's just say that it, it would be a, a whole day adventure you know i would have to uh yeah definitely. i would have to uh <clears throat> fill out in certain areas i'd have to <laughs> buy a whole i would have to buy a, a flesh suit you know the I have to uh, start working yeah, out, yeah. you know, I have to, you know, be interesting, yeah. It's definitely possible, like, I, I've, uh, like, you know who uh, Sneaky is from Cloud9? Yeah, of course, I love cos his cosplay. Yeah, he cosplays <laughs> all the pretty girls all the time, so, I mean, it is what it is, but, you know, technically speaking, what he's doing is he's buying, you know, a, a suit, a chest suit, you know, he, but there are things I've seen, like, it's crazy. I've seen uh, there's like uh, a lot of uh, I think they're like Korean or something, but they'll they'll buy like a whole bodysuit. Like it's like they're wearing someone else's flesh, like like head to toe, and it's freaky when they like they get out of the suit, but like when they put it all together, like you couldn't tell the difference. You'd be like, oh my god, that's like a supermodel, yeah. and then they take it off, and you're like, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Some nerd under there. What the heck? It's pretty funny, but it, it's so cool. I think that's so awesome. That, that like proves once more like what like costumes and like dressing up and like mm -hmm. makeup and like all of these things like can do. They they just transform you into someone completely different, and that's so cool. It's so cool to be able like to be someone who you're not like. I don't know in that sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, what I've noticed is that none of them talk. Like, uh, I think it's because maybe, like, they don't have, like, maybe, like, the lips don't move. 
or, or like maybe they just have a slit there so they can breathe. But like they're always just like it's it's kind of weird. It's almost like they're a doll. It's like they're moving like like they'll like pose, but you'll never hear them talk. Probably because it's like yo, what up? It's like what the heck? <laughs> like, they're probably just like what what the hell? Whoa! I mean, I mean, if they really wanted to, they could voice train to sound more feminine. So I mean, is that an option? You know, so. That, that takes more time and effort, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe at some point in time in my lifetime, if, uh, if I'm, uh, very wealthy and very well off, and it's also not COVID anymore, and, uh, I have just mm -hmm. a stupid amount of money, maybe I'll just, like, hire, what do you call it, like, a makeup artist and, like, a uh, person that makes, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll make a whole suit like this and just look like this, and then I'll, oh, like, damn. Yeah, I'll that be, like, would be so cool. and then I'll be, like, Hey, what's going on? Like, I'll just be like, what up? <laughs> and they're like, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll do that one day. But until uh, when I'm a millionaire, because it will cost a lot of money. I've seen people like, um, you know, uh, my friend's Nags. Uh, he did uh, he did a zombie version of himself. So like, he had like a makeup artist like turn into a zombie. Or like, if you watch like The Walking mm -hmm. Dead, they those are like professional oh, yeah. makeup artists, right? They make people look like they're rotting flesh. But like. The same could apply to like you can make a man look like a woman. So I mean, in terms of makeup and and all that stuff. So I think uh, that yeah, would cost a lot definitely. of money, but I probably maybe one day I'll do it if I'm I have to get a whole team together. <laughs> like turn me into this anime waifu, and they're like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be so cool. I don't know. It would be very interesting. I think it'd be interesting that like I'll do a whole photo shoot with it, and then like all these people would be like, "Oh my god, you're so hot!" And then I'll just be like, "Yeah, what up, dude?" In fact, if I was if I was to do it, I would all I I I don't really like to do face cam stuff, but if I was fully dressed as mm -hmm. my cosplay, maybe I'd be willing to do a face cam. <laughs> like I'd just be like sitting there playing I don't know Minecraft or something, and be like, "Hey guys, it's me." You know? Yeah, it's a stream like every other stream. It, it's it's you. Yeah, I'm just like, hey guys, I turn on <laughs> RTX mode. Uh, this is my the new graphics pack. Yeah, <laughs> really advanced yeah. graphics. Yeah, I have uh, jam. I have like damn bones. They're in real life now. They're pretty good. So, yeah, lots of jiggle physics involved. So, very very advanced stuff. Yeah. So, anyway, um. Next question. So, how'd you get into VR chat? Uh, that's that's a good question. I wonder if I still remember correctly. Actually, um, I started. Oh no, I I took something like <laughs> again. I'm sorry. I'm a thief. Like this is like. That's fine. You know, I have to. Um, sometimes I just need to steal things. Okay. Um, uh, I think I started VR chat like uh around 2018 or 2017. Mm -hmm. Um. And I probably started because I saw a YouTube video. Like, it was really popular, I think, back then on YouTube. Like, there were a couple of, like, content creators who were posting about VR chat, I believe. But I mm -hmm. can't quite... I, I don't remember who it was. I definitely saw, hey, I, I'm B videos a lot. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, so, so I think that's how I actually got to it. Like, I was like, oh, this looks so interesting. I, I want to be anime, you know? I, I want to be uh, not living in reality and, and, and find people who want to talk to me. So um, I think that's how I started. And, um, so, so it was like pretty casual, and mm -hmm. I do not regret it. It's a cool game. I just haven't been very much on it um, mm -hmm. for a while. But it's very impressive. Like when I look at this world, because because this is the first time I see it from this perspective, and in VR, it's really really well made. Actually, it's it's so cool. I don't know. It feels like a real talk show. <laughs> like it is a real talk show. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, it no, is no. a real talk show. Aggressive. <laughs> there would be more people in the audience, but it's COVID nineteen. They they didn't pass the test. So. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. Unfortunately. I understand. Uh, safety first. Safety first. Yeah. Safety first. Yeah. You got tested, right? Before coming on? Uh, yeah, I actually did. I okay. uh, I went to the US this year um, and I got really, really sick there. So I was like, oh, uh -oh. I probably have COVID. 
Oh, <laughs> but but uh, I, I had a antibody test yeah. um, and it turned out negative. I never had it. So oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm good. I never had COVID. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I was worried. Good. I thought you were yeah. going to come on here infected and then infect me. That was the secret ploy all along. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm evil. I mean, what? Yeah, that was the plan. And, um, I mean, oh we God. need to create, you know, some kind of drama. Something has to happen. That, that yeah, usually that's how like it goes. Right? People love that. Yeah. People love that. Yeah. So someone has Absolutely. to, you know, Absolutely. get super sick. <laughs> Damn. Can't believe it. I'm, I dodged a bullet. So, uh, so you also into uh, dancing? You, uh, I saw that you were like practicing a dance for like three years or something like that. Oh yeah! <laughs> so that's funny. Like I love dancing. Honestly, it's so much fun. But I'm nowhere near professional. Like that dance you're referring to, um, yeah. it was like for a con, like kind of like a contest. It was more like a challenge, like social media, um, probably just marketing from their side, mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, um, it was from League of Legends, from KDA. If you if you know the virtual yeah, yeah, yeah. KDA, League yeah. of Legends came up. Yeah. Uh, and I, I was just like, damn, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, backing off. I'm just gonna try and I'm just gonna mm -hmm. try to force myself to learn something that I enjoy, even if it's not gonna turn out great. It was just like a personal kind of thing. So, um, I had a lot of fun learning the dance. Like one of my friends, um, actually dances like for a couple of years already so he was like teaching me over discord video call mm -hmm. how to do this dance so it was so funny it, it was like a great experience i always like hit my head against my um uh ceiling yeah but it was totally worth it <laughs> it was so fun and um i really enjoy dancing uh, to come to the point but like i i'm not a good dancer i just enjoy it you know it's just like it's for fun it's yeah. cool but yeah yeah do you dance? Or have you ever? Do, do have I danced? My when I got full body, in VR chat, I did some oh, boomer dance. I got <laughs> yeah. some I got some boomer dance moves, and then uh, at the time it didn't have any play space, so I couldn't like move. But now that I do, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I still haven't really danced. I'm uh, uh, I have to practice first, you know, because I, I I literally got no no flavor note. Also because I have a wire too. That's uh, that's my another legitimate excuse. I have this wire attached to me, so every time that I try and like dance or like move, I'll kept stepping on it and like yanking the headset. It's gonna, you know, it's a lot of money. So. Oh damn. Yeah. So that wire is really annoying. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. Yeah. So that's why I'm uh I'm an interviewer, and uh, until the day that Index becomes wireless, I'll probably not really dance. But when it becomes wireless, I'll probably be more likely to, because then I don't have to worry about the wire and all that stuff. This room that I'm in, because I moved out of my parents' house, uh, I live with my brother now, but um, it's definitely a larger play space, but it's not as like large as I would want it to be. I would like it to be like double. Like I, I have like a couple feet, like forward and sideways and stuff like that. But I would like to have mm -hmm. more, if that makes sense. Because I, I do still fear that, like, I'm going to start waving my arms around. I've already done it where, like, I wave my arms and, like, I hit the wall. And I'm like, oh, my hand, you know? So I'm afraid of that happening. So I'd like to have more room. Yeah, and but but then you can start, um, like, a new show, like a dancing show, right? Mm -hmm. Dancing uh, dancing sure. with Rebel or something. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, dan really, dancing, yeah. dancing with uh, Rebel, I'll... Uh, yeah, the next big career option right there, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Absolutely. And then you also, uh, you also draw. So how did you get into, have you always been an artist? Like drawing and... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I started drawing, uh, like, I believe in sixth grade or so during math class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, where I started, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be an artist. I don't need numbers in my life <laughs> I, yeah, I got you need this um and uh yeah, yeah I, I just started drawing like manga you know like the typical things and then Anime. uh over yeah, yeah over, over the years it, it just became more and more um serious i guess and i, I even meant like just 
to a kind of art school okay. um, where I had like very, very art related uh, subjects. And now I'm still trying to improve as an artist, but I'm not as ambitious as like huge artists who like draw every day. I just like mm -hmm. draw from time to time, but I should probably be more ambitious actually. I love art. It's, it's so much fun. You, um, uh, you drew me. Yeah, I did. And that I art did. is in this world. It's in the. It's, in, it's where the doors are. I can show you after the interview, but it's over there. Oh damn! Yeah, it's in here now. You're part of the world now. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm so sure. Like, um, I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna be like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> and like, maybe in a, a couple of years, it will be even worse. I'm gonna be like, oh god, what? I have to redraw no, this. It no. has to be even better than this. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think I, I think I, I liked it, so that's why I put it in the world, you know? <laughs> yeah, thank you. But, like, you know, like, artists are always very, you know, very critical of their of their art. I oh, believe. yeah, yeah. I know I'm, very, I'm very critical yeah. myself. Every time I listen to myself talk, I'm like, this, this guy sounds like he's half dead, so why am I even talking? <laughs> I'm like, this is terrible. It, it works. Corpse has been. Corpse yeah. has been. That's Everyone true. Likes him, right? He's that's dead. true. He <laughs> yeah, he, 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 yeah, I like to call him Corpse Daddy, but that's just me. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. If if people if people like, well, doesn't he like? What, I've never watched him. What does he do? Doesn't he like make music videos or something like that? Uh, I actually don't know. I know him from does he read uh, coffee Among pastas Us, uh, videos. What does he do? Uh, I just. I met uh, him in VR he's, chat. He's a very good imposter. <laughs> uh, Damn. Yeah, I met him in VR. I talked to him like for a couple of minutes. He was just like, you know, in his very uh, deep voice, like, "Oh, what up, man? What's going on, dude?" And I was like, "Yeah, just chilling, bro." He's like, "Nice <laughs> avatar." I was like, "Thanks." A <laughs> 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 basically nice. conversation. Yeah, it was a nice conversation. Very memorable. <laughs> but yeah. um... Anyway, uh, do, is there uh, any like challenges you've had as like a streamer or as a content creator that you um, mm. have had to overcome in the last like year or so? Yeah, I think I think they're always. Uh, I feel like everyone who's a content creator or a streamer uh, has some kind of like obstacles at, at some point, yeah. definitely. Um, and then the people who really really want to do it, they just like keep going right no matter what because it's gonna happen like you you have to run into obstacles or problems mm -hmm. this is natural um and i think like for me it was like um i um i had a lot of like personal issues uh in this year as well so sometimes i had to give up a little bit on streaming again which made me really anxious because um it was something I always wanted to do over the years yeah. and I never could, right? So I was like, oh, damn, do I have to give up on it again uh, completely? Like for this year? Is it is it over again? Uh, but I just like tried pushing through. And then also uh, the VTubing thing, right? We talked um, about VTubers yeah. a little bit before. Um, I was like part-time VTubing on my channel, but now I kind of stopped doing so. Um, and I'm probably going to move it to YouTube or something because um, I still enjoy VTubing a lot. Um, but it's just um, that my community got kind of split between like people who like the VTubing persona and like the VTubing thing and people who like me as a person, as a real person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I had to like make a decision. Um, like, I felt like I had to make a decision, so I made the decision um, to not VTube on my Twitch anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe make a separate account or go to YouTube or something, because I still, like, I think it's great. It's very artistic. I think a lot of artists love VTubing, right? It's very Absolutely. nice way to express yourself. Yeah, because I feel like uh, as an artist, um, you know, either you just have your webcam in the corner and you're just sitting there drawing, but then, like, if you add, like, an mm -hmm. avatar to it, it's like, whoa, cute anime girl drawing anime gr women. It's like, whoa. Like, that just adds, like, <laughs> yeah. way more. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's awesome, mm -hmm. yeah. But that was, like, an obstacle. Uh, what about you, if I may? Uh, yeah. For me? Uh, for streaming and stuff like that? Um, many mm. obstacles. Sorry. Uh, especially for the last like three years because like I, I was I always tell myself like I felt like the first like two years because I've been streaming for three years 
uh, almost every day. Uh, for, I feel like the first two years, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I was just sort of like, mm -hmm. I would start stream, but I had no plan. I would just play VR chat and just like wander around, but I didn't get anywhere. And then over a year ago is when I started to do this talk show and I started to uh, find out who I am and what to do. And I also at the same time, a year and a half ago, so just before I started doing interviews, I rebranded my whole channel because I wanted to uh, mm -hmm. really solidify what am I doing, my personality, my persona. And I obviously think it's very beneficial and it worked out in the end because now everyone recognizes me for this character, for doing interviews and you know now having... You know, someone such as yourself cosplaying as me. So I feel like it was very beneficial. I feel like it was the right move, you know. But there is many challenges. There's many times where, um, you know, you, you doubt yourself. Or it took me two attempts to get partner. Um, there's a lot of times where, like, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're thinking about your numbers or haters and stuff like that. I, I definitely have weird people message me. I've had people, you know, hate on me because of, of my success or because I do something differently or... There's a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles, but uh, um, I guess the, the one thing that I have is my family, my friends, my online friends, my viewers, my community to support me. Um, so I, I push through it all. And uh, it's almost like um, what the saying is, like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So, uh, and there's also a lot of times yeah. where I, I would do something and I would it would fail. Like I actually did like a talent show, like before doing an interview show, mm -hmm. it, didn't, it didn't work out. It was actually, arguably mm -hmm. a waste of time like I, I i planned it all out made a world for it tried to do it and it just didn't work out uh, there's other things i tried to do like there's like five or six different types of like content that i tried to do and none of them worked out until i did an interview show so that's why i say like the first two years of me streaming i felt like i was just lost i was just wandering around in a dark forest and I didn't know what i was doing but until i took the plunge to do this talk show and it was a rocky start like when I first started doing interviews, it wasn't like I just sort of, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm a big streamer. And it wasn't like that. It was a slow rise, mm -hmm. but it took a lot of time and effort. And when I look at my first interviews, I, I do think that they suck, not because of my guests, but because of me, because I didn't do any research. I sort of just brought people on and I was just like, so what do you do? And they're like, uh, play VR chat. Like that was like the interview. Like that was it. Like there's, oh, there's no but, substance. Yeah. It was really basic but as time went on i decided to just put more and more and more effort into actually learning my subject which would be the person the guest and then asking questions formulating you know i, I put more effort and then I, I had this studio now so i didn't have this yeah but that, that's like isn't it awesome like it, it feels very um satisfying to like even when you i feel like even when you like fail um, in the beginning, or even more when you like do this trial error thing, when you in mm -hmm. the end like reach your goals, it's it's very yes fulfilling. Like at least to me, I don't know. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've when when I started doing this talk show and like especially uh, getting partnership, like what was it now like five months ago? Um, I, I felt like I, I, I like everything. All the hardships, all the trial and error, it was worth it in the end. Because I was just like, finally, I did something right. Finally, I'm I'm here where I am. You know, I've uh, finally made it. I've, I've done it. I'm going to continue to grow and continue to do what I love. So, yeah, it was it was a big, big thing for me to finally be like, this is it. This is this is me. I found my place. And uh, especially um, when I uh, years ago, when I would. Uh, do content with other people like make uh, ideas whatever right I would I was never in the, mm -hmm. in the spotlight it was always oh yo this person did this cool thing but I never got credit so like I, I would help a lot of people with their projects but I never got credit for it now I do oh, this damn. basically it's yeah. it's true like I've actually helped a lot of people and like people are always like oh my god that was a really cool thing blah 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 and I was just like well actually I did like most of the work and they're just like, who are you? I was like, oh, mm -hmm. oh shit. So when I when I realized is that I need to like make my own project. So this is why it's called Late Night of Rebel. It has my name on it, so you know it's mine. Like I do the bulk of the work, and uh, I'm in the spotlight, and I'm, I'm reaping the benefits. So yeah, I, I really don't. Honestly, I don't. I don't mean to sound rude, but I really don't understand 
people uh they find it so hard to give credit to someone like how does it harm you in any way i don't know it's so weird i don't know um, but it's just finally, the way, yeah it, it's yeah. just the way some people are um or or sometimes they do it don't do it on purpose sometimes it's just the way mm -hmm. that are, uh, that a run a show runs right like for example if you have the host of a show and then someone's the co-host right like let's say or let's let's say a better example of this you're uh you're going to a concert right you're listening to your favorite band you're probably going to recognize mm -hmm. the lead singer but are you going to recognize the backup singer or like the guy who's playing on bass like probably not True. but they're they're yeah. part of the band they're part of the whole shebang but like everyone knows the the front runner the 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 main musician the main person who's playing guitar the lead singer those are the people that usually get the most attention but the backup singer, the people is just playing on the piano in the background. And nobody is like, who are you? So. True, true. That's that's what it feels like of a lot of projects. Yeah. Like, like there's someone who's in the, in the limelight who's like, oh, yeah, what's up, guys? You know, but I'm in the background, you know, doing all the work. So it happens. Anyway, we'll start taking questions from chat now. It's been about like 50 minutes. So uh, anybody in the chat want to have any questions for Kaichu? or I, or maybe if you have more questions for me specifically, you can ask me questions too. Mm -hmm. Well, let me take a drink. What do you think about Bitcoin? What I think <laughs> about Bitcoin, really? Yeah, what do you think about Bitcoin? Okay, <laughs> interesting question. Nice segue. Uh, Bitcoin. Well, I heard about Bitcoin uh, many years ago. I think when I was like in high school or something, which is like a lifetime ago mm -hmm. now. I was in 25 now, but um, uh, I heard about it but, like when I was in high school and uh, people were telling me like, oh, it's a cryptocurrency, it's money online. And I was just like, what the hell? I was <laughs> like, that sounds dumb. But at the time, if I was actually, you know, intelligent, I would have at least bought one or two Bitcoin because it was like dirt cheap. It was like, I think it was like a hundred bucks for like one Bitcoin. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, I, and then I could have, you know, waited five or six years and could have made like $40,000 or something. But I didn't think, I didn't have the foresight to know, okay? Like what I think about cryptocurrency. I think many people feel like this, yeah. Yeah, like I I definitely had, I think a friend or two that did buy one Bitcoin. They did sell it uh, for like 20,000 or whenever it was like at its peak. And then mm -hmm. they paid off their student loans with it or they bought a new car like that. Damn. Yeah, so there's definitely yeah. some people I knew that were smart, but I, I didn't because when I was in high school, I, I my allowance was like a hundred dollars a year. Like <laughs> I was broke. Like I just spend all my money on Steam games. I would wait until it's winter, get the Christmas <laughs> yeah. games, and be like, oh boy, I'm playing this new game I bought for five dollars. I was like, woohoo! Like that was me back then. I didn't have the foresight to, to, to it is save money. Me now, so. <laughs> I mean, I do, well, most of the money I spend now is investing into the stream or new models, which, by the way, I'm getting a new model. I'm getting a Neko maid girl, so I'm going to become a cat girl maid. Oh, oh damn. Okay, yeah. do you know when that's going to happen yet? Or? Uh, in a few days, supposedly. I'll get the okay, model. nice. I will not miss that. Yeah, I yeah, want to I'll, <laughs> Yeah, I'll be a maid, and I'll call you uh, Mistress. I'll be like, Mistress Kaichu. <laughs> Mm. Sure. Yeah, sure, sounds absolutely. good. Sounds good. Good absolutely. plans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, is streaming sometimes you feel like you'll do it in the coming years? So, like, uh, the question is, would you? Are you going to stream like three or four years in the future, like twenty thirty four? Definitely. I would love to. I would love to because I really think like like I said, this is something I tried for such a long time. I would not like to give up on it um, anytime soon. Okay. Um, I do want to continue, no matter what. Um, now I have no excuses or no uh, errors. Like, I mean, I don't know if the world suddenly ends or something. Yeah, then maybe I stop. <laughs> the world ends. <laughs> Fuck. What if the world? What if the world ends? But, but there's only. What if the world ends? But there's only VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, then I would just go back to VTubing. I guess. But like, I mean. You're so That's close, so right? nice cool. of you. I don't know. I'm a too. Like it, you know? <laughs> but, 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 but
Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Buki, uh, thank you, Buki. Thank you for the gifted to Rebel. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Kaichu, Kaichu, do you have pictures of Zentria's cosplay? Yeah, it's on her Twitter. Uh, if Dead Guy or one of my yeah. mods or somebody can link it, it's on her Twitter. It's like, I think it was your first or second tweet that you ever made. Oh, yeah, I think so. Oh, of Sentrias, um, yeah. they asked, or? The, yeah, they were yeah, just yeah, one. Yeah. It's, it's in my photos. media and Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I have to like, I'm looking up my headset because I'm looking at my dog. I want to make sure I step on I him. Is he right okay? Now. No, he's fine. I just uh, I have to keep him in here because uh, he's sick. So he'll like try and scratch himself. So I just look oh, at damn. him. Anyway. I hope he's fine soon. I hope so too. My only question is, how is it that the cup that is on the edge of the desk does not fall? I'm talking <laughs> about this cup right here. How is it not falling? I don't know. There's something in it, right? Magic. On on the tip, on the other tip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah clearly. Yeah, it's uh, it's magical. Uh, any more questions? Oh, I can answer the question that I asked before about the streaming in the future. Yeah, absolutely. If I stream for three years, I could see myself streaming for another three or four years. Like, why not? Like. I, I only see myself going further beyond like I'm just sort of like on the tip of the iceberg in terms of my potential mm -hmm. Excuse me, and I have a yeah. lot of plans for the coming year Because I'm actually going to be able to take this talk show uh, And take it outside of VR chat so then I can start interviewing people like via discord. Oh Damn, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Will it be like more easy or, or like uh, what is the thought behind and uh, interviewing um, on Discord. Well, the the thought is, um, there's a lot of people. Like right now, I only interview people in VR chat, so you have to technically play VR mm -hmm. chat to be interviewed, which oh, yeah, limits yeah, yeah. myself. So there's a lot of VTubers that I'm starting to know and become friends with, and a lot of them don't want to play VR chat or just don't have VR or whatever, right? They don't have their models. Also, mm -hmm. VR chat's like security is like swiss cheese so people don't want to get their avatars stolen anyway point is i can just call them via discord it's really easy to do and they just use like suva Luppet or vc face or whatever and they just display mm -hmm. that and then i just capture it and put it on uh, obs it's actually not too hard uh, it's pretty easy to do um and i can just use suva or i can literally just play vr chat but i'm broadcasting to obs and it looks like, you know what I mean? Like I could still play VR chat, but like they're not gonna be sitting next to me. They're gonna be like in Discord, but uh, but I can edit it so it makes it look like they're sitting next to me. Yeah, 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 I, I get it, I think. Um, I, I have another question. Uh, since we talked about VTubers and stuff, do you have a particular opinion about Project Miko? Have you seen her content? You mean Code Miko? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, called Miko. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've I've interviewed her, and she interviewed me. Oh damn. Okay. So, How was that? Yeah, it was great. It was I'll awesome. Check it out. <laughs> um, my opinion on her, I think uh, she's an innovator because uh, she went to school to do like three D three D animation and character design. So she's actually a coder. Like she's a technician. So she actually mm -hmm. built. Uh, the majority of the things that she's using and then she bought a mocap suit so she has streams where she's showing her real self her real body and then she's wearing yeah. like a whole on bodysuit that's worth like twenty thousand dollars and then she has to pay a yearly uh, subscription to her like unreal engine or whatever she's using and she's like another like ten thousand dollars so it's like thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment she's using Damn. Holy that's, shit. that's a yeah. huge uh what do you call it like uh debt so uh, what I think is she's doing is mm -hmm. really interesting. Also, she has the chat interaction, right? So you donate bits, mm -hmm. and then like you can make her head bigger or her, you know, her assets larger or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah there's a lot of uh, potential there. Cause like, uh, I asked, um, I asked some people recently if you could do that in VR chat. Uh, Cause technically, well, I could probably maybe ask those people in Neos again. They they can do it. In Neos VR, you can actually, which is a separate game, it's like VR chat, where you can type in chat and then mm -hmm. something happens in the game. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't technically work in VR chat currently, but they said that it might be 
might be possible. You would have to hire someone who knows Python, which is a writing, which is a script language. It's like coding shit. If you don't really know what that means, but basically, it's technically possible to do in VR chat. It's just that it would have a huge desync problem. So what that means is like stuff might be happening to me, but then you won't be able to see it, so to speak, because you're lagging. Oh, I see. So you can't do it in like a lobby yeah. of like 30 people. You, I could see it potentially happening if it's just like me and you. If, it, if the interview is just mm -hmm. us three here, including dead guy, my camera guy, but mm -hmm. like maybe it'll work. I don't know. I, I would have to uh, figure it out and I also have to pay someone probably a lot of money. So I don't know. That's a, that's a huge investment to, to potentially have yeah, something yeah. work. It's a big step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I could get something like that, maybe. But anyway, the answer to your question, I think it's really cool what she's doing. Yeah, absolutely. And I support her, and now she has, like, 10,000 viewers, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's popping off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, little Mouse is keeping it from fa uh, falling. Oh, there's a, yeah, Little Mouse. Yeah, there's a mouse in there. What is your uh, 2021 goals? Uh, my goals for 2021, like a New Year's resolution type of thing. Uh, what were your goals first? Oh damn, it's like the same every year, right? Get fit, so <laughs> be productive. <laughs> All right. The last year. Yeah. Um, like probably the the best resolution would be to um actually do the resolution that I'm gonna um want to do when the year ends for the next year after that because like i feel like it's not gonna happen again but of course it's like it's just a typical thing you know like i, I don't know like is that become fit and uh become healthy and uh, yeah yeah do work harder and mm -hmm. achieve your goals and like i don't know yeah what about you <laughs> uh for me my, my goals are mostly just streaming related like uh uh mm -hmm. Because I actually haven't done any interviews outside of VR chat, so I like to, I will do more interviews outside of VR chat. Start interviewing, uh, and I also have the possibility of inter interviewing 2D people. It doesn't have to be 3D anymore, mm -hmm. so I can start interviewing 2D, 3D. Start doing things that aren't VR chat because I've only been playing this game for like three years. Um, do uh, I want to possibly do like a charity stream at some point? Uh, maybe actually do a 24 oh, yeah. hour <laughs> stream at some point. I've never done a 24 hour. Um, what else? Uh, get a merch store. Uh, I have like this running like joke that or like goal that if I get a thousand subs, I'll uh, I'll start a, a I'll sell a body pillow of my character. Oh yeah, body pillow, good. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You, you want one? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually interested already. Okay, though. there you go. Hey, there you go. First buyer, right Potential here. Potential buyer. Right here. What if you cosplayed as yourself, or cosplayed as me, and then you also have the body pillow, and you're just like, yo. <laughs> oh my god. That's next yeah, level right there. I should also uh, call you on Discord, and then so, so it's like, only yeah. rebel everywhere. Yeah. Like, whoa, yeah, what's definitely. going on here? Sounds good. Absolutely. Uh, what else goals? Um, do, uh, do some collabs with like other VTubers and stuff like that that isn't interviews, so like playing games, whether it's Among Us or whatever. Like I haven't done like any collabs. Like I just sort of, very rarely, like once in a blue moon, I'll just be like, okay, we're gonna go play Fall Guys with this person. But like, it's not a regular occurrence. I'm usually pretty solo. So I'm gonna start doing other things um, like that. I think that's, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Get more outfits, but I'm already doing that. So yeah. One of my goals was to move out. Kind of did that this year, a month ago. With my brothers, but it's close enough, yeah. I want to get my own place, but I don't know when that will happen. It's uh, very expensive. I have to literally <laughs> get a mortgage and get a house. <laughs> so that that might take a few years of uh, streaming, you know? I have to save up a lot of yeah. money for that. <laughs> but uh, that's one of my... Living is expensive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially being like a uh, full-time streamer, be like, "Oh man, come on, guys! I gotta, please sub. <laughs> I gotta pay my mortgage." <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I feel that one. Uh, we'll take this next. How do you feel? How do you deal with haters? People that uh, don't like what you do. Um, good question. I try like I don't answer any hate. 
Okay. Like when, when people are writing mean comments, also I don't comment back or something like this. Mm -hmm. And I try for it not to reach me personally because you gotta stay like, like, like you said, sometimes you look too much at the numbers or you look too much at what people think about you, but you have yeah. to learn like to ignore like the nonsense shit. Like, sorry for my language. The, the nonsense fine. like some people throw at you, like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some hate just doesn't make sense. If it's like uh, criticism, then you can like, I don't know, think about it and maybe change something if you want to. Mm -hmm. But if it's just hate, it, it really like, I try to ignore it as much as I can, but I'm the type of person that like, I will always take it personally at some point. So it kind of mm -hmm. like, um, I don't know, it, it makes me a little sad and I'll think about it. Um, a little too much, but I try to ignore it as much as I can, yes. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's uh, it's a thing that uh, a lot of streamers struggle with, a lot of haters, a lot of... Because like, it gets to your head, right? Like, uh, I think the age-old saying is, like, you can have a hundred people watching you and, like, have all this love and support, but if there's one comment that's negative, they'll stick out, like, a sore thumb, and that's the th one thing you remember. Yes! <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's just, like, a thing. Yeah. I guess. It happens to a lot of people, um, but from my understanding, like uh, I've grown up being on, on in you know online games, playing games for better part more than half my life. So I'm kind of used to people just like shit talking and like saying really mean stuff, especially if you play like Call of Duty or Halo or <laughs> be more relevant here, uh, League of Legends. There's very toxic. <laughs> So, uh, I'm kind of used to it. I think a lot of it doesn't get, really get under my skin. It's just, like, ignorant people. Like, uh, for example, people will come to my chat when I'm streaming VR chat, and they'll just be like, why are you a guy playing a girl? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, what's, what is that? Mm -hmm. I probably get that comment almost every time I stream, and I just have to deal with it, and I just I try to educate people, you know, as best as I can, but sometimes, you know, people are just going to be hateful and stupid. So, like... The best thing to do is actually just ban them. I mean, like, if, if they're going to, like, the first thing they're going to type yeah. is something, like, negative, then they're not going to join your community. They're not worth your time. So sometimes you just got to deal with it, but you just got to get get rid of them, you know. Got to Thanos snap them. But that's that's pretty much <laughs> how you do a fate, I think. League of Toxic, yeah, the Xbox 360 crowd. Yeah, absolutely. Like... I would say arguably when I when I was a kid growing up like the, the things that they said like on Xbox Live was like a million times worse than as anybody has ever said to me on Twitch or in a DM like the like the things I wouldn't be able to re like repeat like I would get banned but like the point is that like I growing up as a kid I listened to that every day for like 6 hours a day and then at a certain point I just became desensitized I was just like okay whatever so yeah there's not too many things that would get under my skin and i'm sort of just used to it and like when i played vr chat like the the time amount of times i met someone who's actually toxic is not too often because it's it's personal right like we're seeing face to face right it's almost like the equivalent of like you mm -hmm. walking down the street and then like just start shit talking like somebody right in front of their face like you're going to be very surprised, but that person might just punch you right in the head, you know? Like, <laughs> there's a reason why, like, when you play, like, League or, you know, Call of Duty or something, people are very toxic because they can scream because you're not in the same room, right? The moment that you're in the same yes, room, yes. most of those people will be quiet. They won't say nothing. So. Yeah, it's, it's what they say, like, on the internet. Um, you know, yeah. You're... Internet tough guys. Different, yeah, yeah. You suddenly are the, the the best, the strongest, and I don't know, the most weird. I, I don't know. It is just like mm -hmm. no confrontation, like you said, like no personal confrontation, so you can insult someone easily. Absolutely, I get you. Um, is there anything else that you would like to uh, ask or anything like that? Anyone from chat, or you want to ask me a question? Because we're uh, just over an hour, so uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. It must be really late. Yeah, it's late. maybe. <laughs> yeah, it is really late. There was like, uh, th that's like I think also one of the reason like I, especially with Can, you're Canadian, right? Yes. I, 
Yes. I'm not. I'm from Canada. Yeah. It's like I, I tried to talk to this one girl as well from Canada for like weeks at this point, but it's like it never works out because I'm like usually asleep at this time because it's so late. Um, okay. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate, and I wish, I wish I, the time zones weren't so bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, time zones uh, can be affect various things. Um, any any last questions? Any last minute questions from anyone from chat? Anything at all? I guess I'll ask one last question, uh, or like two last questions. I have one other one. That's uh, high wrap up interviews, but. Um, was there, is there anything that you would like to have changed during the both of the cosplays they have done of me? Anything that you would have like, oh, I could have done this better, or like. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm, let, let me think. I mean, I, I think it's more like my like my view of myself, like okay. that I'm just some, sometimes insecure. Um, I feel like otherwise, like costume wise and. Everything, Everything it was fine. Okay. Um, maybe a bat would have been cool for the <laughs> for the um, biker one, right? A uh, bat? You a mean? Prop. You said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bat. you mean like you mean like sitting on um, it or something? You mean laying on it? Is that what you mean? <laughs> laying on the bed? Like, like a baseball bat, you know? Right, like oh, a bat. I thought you said I thought you said bed. bed. I was like, what are you doing yeah, with a bed or what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, a no, bat. this is fine. Like, like a baseball bat. Yeah, yeah. Or something. This would have been cool. Okay, I was imagining um, you mm. laying in a bed, and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, me sleeping and having my eyes closed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good picture. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, a bat would have been cool, I think. Um, yeah. And other than that, um... I don't know, if I had the full outfit for the first one as well, like mm -hmm. the, the cool boots and if I was like more confident, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe the wig um, for the first one as well. Maybe I could have styled it better or something. Um, but I think other than that, the contacts were a little bit... Um, how do you say this? Um, I wish they would pop more. They would have popped more color wise. Okay. Um, too yeah, dark. yeah, that was like a little bit annoying. Yeah, because on the website they looked, of course, better than than when I had them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. False advertisement. Yeah. They, they got you. Yeah, scammers. Mm -hmm. I should I should ask uh, for my money. Yeah. Would you uh, <laughs> Would you ever be willing to revisit these cosplays at some point in time later? Like, it doesn't have to be now. It could be months, years. Mm -hmm. So um, it was really, really like like it was honestly really exhausting. Like not necessarily very in a bad way, but it's like a lot of work, and I really underestimated it. So uh, like you said, probably not anytime soon, but maybe um, I will have like a phase um, where I would like to um, redo like a lot of my costumes, mm -hmm. and I I would definitely like to redo it to um, like just to make it better you know just like to improve but once i've improved my skills mm -hmm. i would like consider it yeah which one would you rather want to do would you rather do this one or would you rather do the biker outfit again i like the biker one more personally because it's so like badass like i honestly i, I don't know I, I like like the the design of it more because it's I just like cool <laughs> rocky stuff as well um but it's like very uh revealing on the, the tummy area so it's like I, I would have to see how okay i am with myself and but i like that design a lot more so i would pro probably aim for that i mean if i get fit next year anyway you yeah know, you mean this cause, outfit cause this, this one yes yes yeah yeah this one but it's pretty good yeah yeah, yeah. like i like it it's just you know I don't know if it's so cosplay friendly for me. <laughs> I mean, I mean the, the the thing is that you you took the challenge, and you you did the yeah. cosplay, and I enjoyed it, and I think it was awesome. I mean, if you only wanted Thank to you. if if you only wanted to do a half body again, I mean, it's up to you. But I'm I'm down for it. I think you did a wonderful job. Okay. There's there's so many like you. I, I wish I could 
like have you just appear and be beside me like in terms of like in vr chat because the amount of people that have come up to me and said dude that was a really awesome cosplay and i was like yeah that was kind of yeah. she did that a lot so yes. many people have said that to me they're like oh my god rebel like this person cosplayed that's so cool they're all referring to this one or the interviewer one i think a lot of people saw this one a lot more but they're just like holy crap like what so I think you did an yeah, amazing job. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Everybody, please give some hearts to Kaichu. She cosplayed as a surreal life. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. It was great. You know, I think you did a wonderful job. Like, honestly, uh, from my perspective, like, I think you did a really good job. I don't think there's much, like, I, like you would change. Like, I think you did wonderful. I think... I think honestly, the only thing I, I would change, like you said, maybe get the bat, maybe um, maybe a, a better wig, maybe the contacts. Like for, to me, I think it was like honestly, like almost a ten out of ten for me. It was like nine, oh, nine dang. out of ten. I was like, this Damn. is this is me. Damn. That's 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 good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. I appreciate that a lot. Of course. <laughs> Hold on, I need to switch back. <laughs> One second here. This is an interview. I gotta look professional. I gotta look formal. There you go. Now I'm back. My disguise. Yeah. Anyway, is there anything that you would like to uh, conclude with? Any like last minute thoughts, opinions? Like, hey, check out my Twitch. Any anything you wanna <laughs> say? Um, thank you so much again for this. Um, I, I don't ha I didn't have a lot of interviews, so I was a little bit nervous, but it was actually cool. <laughs> I, okay, it sounds like I didn't imagine it to be cool, but like, <laughs> thank you. Of course. Um, and I think uh, you should um, definitely like keep working so hard. I think that's very that's amazing. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely. And I hope I can start working so hard as well on <laughs> my my stuff that I. Of course. To work on. You'll you'll come back good. next yeah. year. You'll have like a six pack. You'll be buff as hell. You like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, Definitely. I believe it. One hundred percent. Check her out. Check out her Twitter. Check out her Twitch. Kaichu. She's amazing. Uh, cosplay, amazing friend. Thank you. And uh, go hit her up with that follow. You know, if you got uh, if you got some extra cash, maybe give her a sub. You know. Get some hype dreams going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or a rebel. Or a rebel, you know? <laughs> it was an ops. One of my friends Roach named... Really yeah, yeah, Roach says, Tell her I want to I date with her right now. You know who Roach is? Oh, wait, he's Roach. Yeah, I don't know. Same who? Who? Yeah, who? 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm pretty sure you're, you're taken already, so, uh... Yeah, I guess you're gonna have to respectfully decline, Roach. He's asking you. He, he, Wait, I'm he, so confused. No, my friend in my chat asked me if he could ask you on a date. Oh. Um. Wait, wait. wait. I, I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not prepared for this question. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm be honest. Roach, are you are you saying that you wanna you wanna date her when I'm when she's cosplaying as me? Is that like is that his plan? Oh, you wanna date Rebel? Oh yeah. No, oh yeah, you wanna date me by getting the cosplayer? To, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I meant you. Oh, then why'd you say her? I'm clearly a man. What do you Damn. mean? Damn. Uh, excuse me, pronoun game. Come on, man. What do you want to date me? Roach, you want to date me? Okay, dude, let's go, man. Let's smash. We'll play Smash Brothers, but we have one joystick, so you got to share. <laughs> yeah, just because I'm dressed as a girl doesn't mean you have to call me a girl. What do you mean, dude? It's 2020, almost 2021. What do you mean? What are you assuming? Are you assuming? Hmm? I hate women. Okay, well. Oh, <laughs> I guess you're gonna oh, die alone then. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, they're too shy to ask the real rebel. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. 
Anyway, anything else you want to say before uh, we conclude this interview? I felt like I said thank you too often. It's okay. gonna, it's gonna sound so weird, but like it was great. It was a good time. All right. I appreciated it. <laughs> All right, awesome. I'll uh, we'll take a photo. Uh, but before okay. we do that, we'll uh, end my stream. We'll go raid somebody from the VR chat community. Just give somebody some love, and then we'll take a photo. And then uh, you can stick around if you want, or you can just you know go to bed, go to sleep. 